I'm Tim O'Neill, Curry, I'm a marketing manager. I have with me today Ken Moore, our couplings product manager. We're here today to teach you a little bit more about sanitary fittings. Uh, we have two videos for you today. In the first video, I'm going to speak to the general characteristics of sanitary fittings, what makes up a sanitary fitting, and what type of certifications are available. In the second part, we're going to introduce you to the Kuriyama line of sanitary fittings in more detail. So what is a sanitary fitting? A sanitary fitting is designed for use in the food and beverage or pharmaceutical industries. They're designed in a special way that provides for better food safety, better food quality, improved food shelf life, and easier and better cleaning. Um, so what requirements are there of a sanitary fitting? So sanitary fittings uh, have to meet certain design characteristics. Uh, the first one being the roughness average. So when you're talking about sanitary fittings, what you're concerned with is the food contact surface. So this area is going inside a hose, it's not as critical. But in here is where the food's gonna be uh, contacting. So you want a very smooth surface on a microscopic level so that no bacteria is getting trapped there. So one of the most important criteria of any sanitary fitting is the roughness average. So what that means on a microscopic level, the little valleys and roughness on the surface, the average cannot average more than 32 RA. So what that means is 32 micro inches. Uh, the second most important uh, criteria uh, is the angles. You don't want any sharp angles uh, on the food contact areas uh, where bacteria can be trapped. So therefore there's a requirement of uh, anywhere that uh, food can come in contact with of a minimum radii of one quarter inch, and that's for cleaning. Uh, one of the third most important criteria is the corrosion resistance. Um, all sanitary fittings need to be made out of a corrosion resistant stainless steel. All Kuriyama sanitary fittings are made out of 316L stainless steel. So how do you know if your fittings meet these criteria? Well, the 3A organization is one that was formed to help with this. Uh, 3A is affiliated with the USDA and the FDA, although they're not a government organization, um, and they have come up with uh, certain criteria, including these, um, that you can uh, submit your uh, products to be certified uh, to. And uh, Kuriyama currently holds three uh, different certifications with the 3A, 3A organization. The first one, is uh, 6202 RSPCQ. So uh, a hose fitting is not uh, considered uh, a fitting in and of itself at 3A. A hose fitting is considered part of a component, uh, the assembly. So uh, hose fittings uh, should have the 6202 RSPCQ uh, hose fitting certificate. And all Kuriyama hose fittings do have this. Uh, the next one is the 6303. Uh, this refers to any hose or any non-hose fitting, uh, such as a weld-on fitting, because this is not designed to go into a hose. Uh, a weld-on tri-clamp would, uh, would meet the 6303. And then finally is the 6202. That's the hose assembly certification itself. Kuriyama does have uh, the 6202 approval for all Kuriyama sanitary fittings uh, with several of our Tiger Flex, Alpha Goma, and Curry Tech hoses. Uh, therefore, if you buy a uh, Curry Tech or, Curry, or Tiger Flex or Alpha Goma hose assembly with the Kuriyama uh, sanitary fitting. Uh, it will meet 6202, uh, and we do uh, print on there the uh, 3A logo and 6202 approval. So that's what uh, makes up a sanitary fitting. To ensure your fittings meet these requirements, make sure your supplier has the necessary 3A certificates. So this concludes what we have to say about the uh, general uh, requirements of sanitary fittings. Uh, please check out our other video where we go into more detail on Kuriyama's offering.